hello and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be showing you my fabric buys for autumn 2021 and I'm just so excited. Sadly or not so sadly, autumn does seem to be coming earlier so it did get me a little bit inspired for the autumnal vibes and so I'm going to be showing you which fabrics I've picked up for my next few sewing makes. I'm just so excited. I hope you are too. Let's dive straight in. So I'm gonna start with this piece, which is quite a nice transitional piece, I would say, from sort of summer to autumn. And it's this lovely dark floral print. And this is a viscous, and I don't know about you, but I absolutely adore viscous as a fabric it's super soft it's relatively easy to sew so it's perfect if you're a beginner and they're just so comfortable whether you want to layer it in the winter or whether you want to wear it as a summery dress it's not too hot and it's just just a glorious fabric so i came across this lovely colorful but dark floral print which I think is going to be very in at the moment and it just means that you can kind of wear it now and also once the winter period starts to fall through. Um, so yeah, perfect with some black tights. Um, I'm thinking of making a dress with this one. But yes, if you have any particular patterns that you want to recommend that you think would look gorgeous with this, with this um, fabric, then do let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to do something with this one. Oh, and I forgot to say, I think I've got about three metres of this one, so there's a fair amount there to, to do something lovely. So yeah, that's that one. Now, this one I wasn't too sure about after I came back from the shops. However, I do have a top in this same colourway and pattern that I wear to death. And I thought, well... If I know that I wear that pattern a lot, then I think whatever I'm going to make out of this, I'm going to really get good use out of. And it's this lovely jersey polka dot rusty orange um, with black polka dots on. And I just, I don't know why, but I just love it. I think it's just very, it can be very smart. It can be really fun. Um, and I really don't know what to make with it yet. I'm kind of tossing around with the idea of either so in palazzo pants, the sort of square wide legged trousers, or a wrap round dress with some frills. But again, I'm just not sure, but it's a lovely jersey fabric, so I could make so many lovely things out of this. Um, but yeah, and I've got a lot in here. This is actually a remnant, but this is a remnant of about three meters, which in my eyes doesn't really feel like a remnant, but I suppose technically it is. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to dive into that one. And there's, again, there's so much to play around with here. I can make matching headbands and all sorts with this to go with whatever outfit I've chosen in the end. So can't wait for this one either. Now this one, I have already started my make for and oh my God, I am loving it. So this was, so normally when I do a fabric shop, I usually have sort of a vague list or idea of what I want to pick up that day. And I try not to go too far off that, but sometimes you see something and go like, I can make something really good out of that, or I just love the fabric and I just want to make something out of it. And I will make sure I do. <laughs> but this one again was actually a remnant and it's this. Now, I tend to get a lot of wear out of my monochrome um, outfits especially if it's things I could wear to work um, and this is beautiful I don't know if you can see the texture Let's see if we can focus you on I'm gonna go orange but yeah you still can't it doesn't really do it justice but it's basically a knitted fabric stretchy um, and in I wouldn't say embossed I would say yeah, actually I would say embossed, um, kind of a bit like a seersucker texture, but it's not seersucker at all. Um, but it just screamed to me, 
please make some outerwear out of me and that's exactly what I've done so um, coming up soon you're going to see this made into the Nora cardigan that was released um, from the Simply Sew magazine um, and I made quite a few modifications to it because it's a beautiful pattern beautifully made but I just wanted to kind of make it a bit more into something that I would personally wear so there's quite a few modifications that I've made and it's done and it's just stunning and it's so practical and so elegant and so yeah just out of this world so if you want to see that process of how I make it then I will link it up here once it's out yeah do subscribe and hit the bell because you'll get alerted when that one goes up um, but yeah it's turned out beautifully and it's so practical so elegant and yeah I just love it and I've got I think about a meter and a half left so I'm debating what to make next with it um, I could make like a more like a bodycon dress um, I could make a skirt there's just so many options so yeah let me know what I could make out of the remaining because um, yeah there is quite a lot left but it's just absolutely stunning and I wish I could link this one for you because it's so great but it was a remnant so I'll see if I can find something a bit similar but yeah this is quite unique but yeah love that one okay so this next one is I wouldn't say controversial but a challenging one and even when I picked it up in the fabric shop the lady who was cutting it said to me I really do like that fabric but I would have no idea what to do with it but I touched it and I fell in love so I'm just a very tactile person when it comes to fabrics like let me know if that's just weird but for me sometimes the feel of the fabric is more important than the actual print within reason but yeah it's yeah this the, just how this felt just completely won me over and it was this lovely leopard I don't even know what fabric this is honestly it feels like a suede like a very thin suede yeah I would say it's more like a suede there's a little bit of um, indentation that you can and texture that you can feel from the pattern but I love animal print and I get so much wear out of animal print um, it's a little bit more beigey in real life than on the camera I do love leopard print it is slightly stiff and a little bit thicker than the average fabric but it's kind of in that middle middle range it's not quite thick like an outerwear piece but it's not quite thin like a cotton it's I don't know if you can see yeah it's quite thin it is, it is like a, a suede I would say um, but I've got my eye set to make some dungarees out of these I think they're just gonna look so cute and I think they would look great with like a white or a black t-shirt underneath or a long sleeve or a polo shirt um, and because of the material it feels like it would be quite warm like it would block out any wind and that sort of thing or even dress up with some like military looking boots see so, yeah, I'm so excited to make something like this I think this is gonna be my next big make so watch this space if you're wanting to make some dungarees as well this will be my first ever set of dungarees so yeah it's gonna be super exciting now last but not least is this corduroy and it looks more orange in the camera but it's more like a rusty orange and less like a rusty red more like a rusty orange if that makes sense um, but it's quite a fine fine um, width in the texture and I don't remember how many meters I got from this I think it's only about one and a half because I think this was an end of roll piece I just well, number one I love the feel of corduroy it's it makes me feel so cozy and it feels, makes me feel so warm and um, yeah I just love corduroy as a fabric um, but this is quite nice and thin as well so I think it'll be quite nice to sew into sort of something quite shapely um, I love the colour it goes well with my skin tone I do tend to like the warmer toned um, fabrics 
Um, I really don't know what to make out of it actually for this one. Um, I was thinking maybe like a pinafore or a skirt. But yeah, no, I really haven't decided. I could even make a crop jacket, but I don't think I've got enough meterage for that. So um, yeah, this one is still in the thought process of. So if you have any ideas on what I could make from this, then I would love to hear from you. Um, so yeah, that's super exciting as well. So that's the end of my um, autumn haul. Um, I hope you really enjoyed seeing what I got for this season, 2021. They're all pretty much on trend, but they also kind of fit my personal style, which is so important. 